Yeah, uh, we did some yoga and some film yesterday. Uh, and so I thought, uh, but you know, I was just judging body language and I thought, I thought our guys were, thought our guys were good. And I thought Bishop did some good things, you know. Uh, we've always maintained he's a, he's a good player and somebody that could help us. And you know, we were just searching for stuff in Florida. We didn't have, we just didn't have it. We were searching and, and uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop did a great job. He caused a couple turnovers defensively. He was very aggressive defensively. Um, I thought he, I thought he played well. You know, it says a lot about the kid. You know, we always tell our guys stay ready, so you don't have to be ready. I mean, he hadn't been in a game in a month. I think the last time we played him was at the end of the first half against Mississippi at home. You have to correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the last time we played him. And so, you know, for him to be able to, to stay ready and 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 uh, and, and, and and be ready uh, to. Uh, uh, Am I right about that? Ole Miss at home and yeah. play at Ole Miss on the road. Yeah, and so you know, I, I think you know, for him to be able to stay ready and to be in that moment, that says a lot about him. He's somebody you can count on. He's somebody who's dependable. And so, um, you know, I, th I thought that was I thought that was a real I thought that was a real positive for Wednesday. We didn't have many, but that was one. Uh, you no know, pun intended here, but it just seemed like Charles can't catch a break with his you know his injuries. I mean, just what are his spirits like right now? And, uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said he was okay. I mean, it's it's it's, uh, it's pretty devastating. You know, he had the, um, the exact same thing. I mean, I'm no doctor, but we got back from uh, South Carolina. We had a little scan machine in there, and I mean, I could go and I could tell it was broken. He, he, Sean put his foot on there, and you could be, as you could tell, it was it was a clean, pretty clean break. And uh, I mean, you know, it happened with about. 27 seconds left to go in the game as he was, you know, passing against the press. It was just a freak thing. It's like I told him yesterday. I said the only good news is now we got screws in both feet, so it's not going to happen again. Um, you know, so it's uh, you know it's, it's disappointing. He's a very good player. He's a cerebral player. He's a player you can count on in the big moment. Um, and so, you know, we're hopeful we'll, we'll get him back this year. Part of it depends on how well we play down the stretch and. and how we do, but um, you know we're certainly uh, certainly hopeful that we can um, you know that we can find a way to get him back. He's he's uh, he's our best defender. Our team's a lot better uh, defensively when he's out there. He was just kind of rounding into form. You know, he's, everybody gets excited about when a kid can come back, but usually when they can come back, they're still got to get in game shape. They still got to get used to the speed, the pace of the game. It's different. You can condition them. You know, we're conditioning him in an underwater treadmill, and you know you can condition on that stuff all day. But when you get on the court, you're cutting and playing. You know, it usually takes two or three games to kind of get back in the swing of things. And I thought he was really uh, getting back in the swing of things, and so it was it was, uh, it was disappointing. But he had surgery on Monday. Uh, what's today? Friday. Yeah, he had surgery Monday. And he we knew it was broken on um, on uh, Saturday. Well, we thought. We're pretty sure Saturday and Sunday everything was confirmed. And then he had surgery uh, Monday, Monday morning, and so um, you know, just disappointing. He's he's been he's a great kid, he's a great person. Practices, he does you know everything the right way, and it's just just part of it. He hated it, especially for a junior college kid. He's only got two years, and he missed eight games earlier on, I believe, uh, with the with the first one, and he's going to miss you know, miss some more time. What are you hoping to see from the team in these final three games? Wins. <laughs> um, you know, we need some. Uh, we need some wins. But we just gotta. We just gotta continue to improve. Continue to play a little bit better. Get a little bit better. Uh, you know, each game, each day in practice. I'm more excited about the practices and, and continuing to grow through film and practice and that sort of thing. And so, um, you know, we we we've got um, we've got. A lot of a lot of great things in front of us here, hopefully, and so we just got to uh, we just got to continue to improve, continue to get better, and uh, try to finish this thing out strong. You at all concerned about the offense, or have you thought about changing the approach at all? Is the, the kind of numbers that you're able to play with and has it changed a little bit? I mean, I'm, you know, you're always concerned about about uh, about everything, but. Um, I thought Florida was probably um, 
our, you know, our poorest offensive performance from an efficiency standpoint, from every, you know, from everything. I think you could, you don't have to be uh, John Wooden to figure that out if you were watching the game. I mean, it was, it was pretty, pretty obvious that we were we were disjointed um, offensively. Florida's uh, defense had a lot to do with that. They were aggressive and put us on our heels and, and um, you know, took some things away that other teams have not taken away. But, you know, we'll adjust as we've been done, done on here. But, um, you know, I think our offense has, has been, you know, more than fine most of the season. But, you know, our, 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 uh, our uh, poor offense contributed to some poor defense because we were frustrated with some things that were going on on offense. And, you know, we'll we'll, um, uh, we'll get it corrected. I think we'll I think we'll play better uh, offensively. I think we'll play better uh, defensively as well. <coughs> yeah, it was it was not a good offensive. On top of on top of some of the other stuff, it was not definitely not one of our finer moments uh, offensively. But like I said, Florida and their personnel had a lot to do with it. You know, I mean, a lot of people can have a game plan. That's what they. You got to have certain personnel to carry out the game plan. And, Florida had um, very, very good personnel to carry out a very good game plan against, against what we do both offensively and, uh, and defensively. Since your, your bench is more limited now, you, you, you expect to continue to bring him off the bench. Obviously, that, like you said, not a lot of things went well, but that, that went well. He gave you that spark and, and then played very well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, um, you know, you need some energy off the bench. Emmett actually came to me and asked to come off the bench and said, you know, he, he feels like if he can watch the game a little bit and see, um, you know, see what the other team's doing, it helps him, helps him, helps him settle in the game and allows him to really kind of hit the ground going when he gets in the game. So uh, I, I do like his, uh, I do like his energy off the bench. I think it gives us some, some pop. Uh, some pop off the bench, and so you know we're going to keep doing that, kind of like we did. You know, Javante kind of felt the same way last year, um, and so we brought him off the bench. But Javante's done a phenomenal job this year as a starting point guard. You know, he's got the best assist to turnover uh, statistics in the in the SEC. He's just played phenomenally for us in SEC play, and um, you know, so some people it's different for different different for different folks. But I think um, him, it's uh, and it's energy and, and you know it kicks our defense up a notch when he comes in off the bench and pick our, our talk our, our um, just everything our energy and so I, I, I think we're gonna gonna keep doing that I think it benefits him and I think it benefits our team so it's a it's a win-win and you know I got to give him a lot of credit for you know, how many how many people you know would, would say that especially you know we we're in a losing streak we haven't been playing well as a coach I think I think I can help our team and help our bench and help our defense. And, um, you know, he, he's uh, he's certainly done that. He's played you know, played really well at South Carolina defensively. Obviously, offensively at Florida, he did a, did a tremendous job. Had one of his better games, and so just gotta keep it uh, keep it going with him. Coach, what mentally are you hoping your team will learn from Mahmoud when he comes and talks later today? You know, just. Uh, you know, I think all great scorers, all great shooters, all great players, you know, just have a next play mentality. And, you know, sometimes I think, uh, I alluded to it earlier, sometimes you get so caught up in what happened in the past or so worried about what's going to happen in the future, you forget to just stay in the present moment and stay, stay um, you, know, you know, be where your feet are, so to speak. And so, uh, you know, I think anytime you've got a, a prolific scorer, a prolific shooter, you know, I haven't done a study on this, but one of the great traits would be, um, you know, that they're able to move. You know, that even the best shooters don't shoot fifty percent. That means they're missing more than more than they make. Um, and so I think being able to move past that, and being able to, um, you know, stay in the moment and focus on what's important in that moment, as opposed to worrying about the past or, or worrying about the uh, worrying about the future. It's a good trait to have in basketball or anything that you know, anything that you, anything that you do in uh, anything that you do in life.